Fellow Nigerians, my name is Mazio Biokoli Ojeli Bozi. I am the servant of the Igbo people, and I greet you tonight with the sincere greetings of peace. In my native Igbo language, we say Ododolono, which means peace be upon you. I watched with dismay the wickedness and the fallacious lies being perpetrated by Ruben Abati against the Igbo nation. Ruben Abati, in an allegation, stereotyped the entire Igbo nation that we do not sell land to foreigners. Mr. Ruben Abati, I will categorically tell you that you're one of the biggest problems that we have in Nigeria because of your inborn hatred for the Igbo nation. Igbo land is vast, has vast acres of land. If you do not know about a people, you claim to be a journalist. You go and study those people. What we do not sell in Igbo land is the traditional obi of every family. We do not sell the obi because the obi traditionally belongs to the first son who will continue the progression of the family. Every other land in Igbo land is for sale and anybody can choose to sell their land and choose not to sell their land. You cannot put the entire Igbo nation into a straight jacket claiming that not, we don't, the Igbos do not sell land to other foreigners or what you call foreigners. Because we Igbos, we don't see anybody as a foreigner. We've had Hausa people that have lived in Igbo land all through their lives. They've acquired land. They've lived peacefully. We've had Hausa mayors. I have Yoruba friends who have lived in Igbo land and are still living there today, even up to Port Harcourt. I personally know of Yorubas who have a lot of massive acres of land in Igbo land today. Some of them are engaged in farming. I actually had a conversation with one this evening who has a very vast acre of land. I was even asking him to give me 10 plots from it for me to be able to farm. I do not know where you people get all these unnecessary, wicked and clandestine stereotypes that you level against, you level against the Igbo people. What did the Igbo people do? I don't even want to ask that question because we've passed that level now. I do not care about the malicious act of people like you, Ruben Abati. You are a disgrace to journalism. Have you been to the land, land ministry and called for any paper, for the land allocation paper, the sea of O's in Igbo land, and you, you only find only Igbo people in it? When you are a journalist that is worth the pen upon which you claim to be a journalist, you will do what is called investigative journalism. I have worked as a journalist. And I understand what investigative journalism means. You go out there into the field and do your research. So whatever nonsense you want to talk about, it will be based on facts and figures. You just sit on a rice TV and you think you have a monopoly to knowledge. And the lady was trying to correct you. You were showing off your arrogance as usual. What, what, what is wrong with you people? Why is it that you wake up every morning and the, the only way you can have an erective testicular fortitude is by criticizing a people who have done nothing to you? There are wastelands in Igbo land that you can go and buy. Who cares? Who buys them? As long as you are doing what is right in the community, you cannot buy the OB, the OB of any community. It is a sacrilege for us to sell that. Because that is the progression of the Igbo family. It belongs to the first son of the family. If every at any attempt is made to sell it, the community will tell you no. The family will tell you no. And you need to respect this. If I go to a community and they tell me no, this is the ancestral place of my ancestors, our, our ancestors are born. And we cannot sell it because it belongs. I will respect it. Every land in Igbo land does not belong to the first one. It's free enterprise. I have not seen anybody who wants to sell his land and the first thing he's worried about is are you house a Yoruba or Igbo? If they want to sell their land, they sell it to whoever they want to sell it to. This is how you people came up with the nonsensical idea to come and bring people from IDP into Igbo land. For what? 
How big is Borono State? How big is Niger State? The small Imo State, you want to bring... You knew the flood was coming. You did not prepare for the flood. Then suddenly, the flood has come so that you can get money from, from the United Nations and, and, and all the uh, international organizations. You people allowed the flood to come and take your people so that these people will die so you can get the funds from the international community. And then, instead of you to resettle them, in the same place, the whole of Burundi was not, the whole of that area was not even flooded. You now want to bring them into a university in, in the small land of Ibu, of Imo State, and you want the people to say yes to it. The question is that since the governor of that state came in, what has been the agenda? You people do not even ask fundamental, responsible, reasonable questions. What has been the agenda? Is anybody saying the same thing in any other state, any state and the rest of them? We know who we are. We know who our leaders are. We know who blows the trumpet for them. So when people are talking, you better pay attention and listen attentively. You don't just run into because you have the privilege of being in a rice TV and you begin to talk whatever you feel is you 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 think you, is, you need to say. This whole this whole monopause about the Igbo people is getting is getting very irritating, and I don't blame you people. I don't. I blame the young Igbo boys that we keep silent and watch every every human being, every manner of people run run, run the Igbo race down, and they do nothing about it. That's why all of you can get up any time. Anybody can come to social media and choose a particular tribe, di di disintegrate us, abuse us, insult us, and everybody's keeping quiet. Because you think you have the monopoly to talk rubbish about a certain people. Do we even care about you guys? Do we even worry ourselves about you? Do we even get up every morning and begin to criticize other nationalities? Where do you people get all this effrontery and audacity from? Ruben Abati, if you claim you're a, a journalist, you better, you better go and learn how to be a journalist and stop talking rubbish on Arise TV. And somebody was trying to correct you and you were so pompous, so, so arrogant and so indisciplined that you were not even letting the lady tell you. You cannot stereotype a people. I've got land in Igbo land. Your house, or your robot, whatever. You want to buy it, come, I'll sell it to you. What is wrong with all of you? I blame the young men in Igbo land. I blame them. That's why any, anybody can wake up in the morning, have dysfunctional testicular fortitude, and begin to insult a race of people. We are 80 million people. The whole 80 million cannot be right. Some people might have their own personal issues with them. You don't know the mental state of people. 80 million people. Somebody can say, I don't want to do something. It does not mean that the 80, over 80 million Igbo people have met somewhere and agreed to do that. This unnecessary, low-budget type of stereotyping must stop. What is wrong with you guys? Ruben Abati, you better get some knowledge and some intelligence if you say you are a journalist. Learn to be, learn to be, learn to be very pragmatic in the way you talk. I can see the pomposity and the arrogance in you because you think you, you, you have access to the media. I wish you guys all the best.